Welcome to Be Heard. My name is Gabby Urban, and this is Pastor Mark Stern um, of Adult Ministries here at Faith Bible Church. Today we're discussing Christianity and entertainment. So, Pastor Mark, let me ask you, what is your favorite movie? Favorite movie? So, my favorite movie would be Rocky IV okay. with a close second with Warrior. So, Rocky IV is just pure motivation. Like, I watch it and I'm just like, I can watch it a million times over and over again. I'm hype and I'm just like all in. Same thing with Warrior. Uh, you, same motivation. I love MMA boxing a little bit, uh, but the storyline there is is heart heart heartwarming, and so I love love both of those movies. Okay, would you recommend those two <clears throat> congregation to watch? Would I recommend those two movies? Rocky IV, yes. Uh, Warrior, if you don't like boxing or MMA, I would say no. Okay, but it's a good message in both movies. Okay, good message. Cool. Um, what is your favorite music artist? Favorite music artist. So if I'm listening to worship, then I like Bethel, Hillsong. I like those that kind of music. If I'm like want to be motivated, if I'm working out or something like that, I'm Lecrae, uh, Christian rap. I'll listen to some secular rap if I can find like a clean version or if the message is not too raw, okay. then... You know, whatever's gonna like get me going. Okay. So, do you have a favorite song right now to listen to? <clears throat> song. A favorite song. Actually, my favorite song is a worship song. Okay. Um, Closer. Yep. So that's probably my favorite song. Like, if I'm really at a place where I want to worship, I can like listen to worship music as I work out. So I mean, that's just so that's where I am right now is that song Closer. Okay. Cool. Um, what is your favorite TV show right now? Favorite TV show. So. I was thinking about this question. I was struggling a little bit. Um, favorite TV show is going to be Blacklist. <clears throat> okay. Which I would not recommend <laughs> to everybody. Um, and so I was kind of analyzing myself like, well, then why do you like Blacklist yep. if you couldn't recommend it? Um, that's a good question. Um, I think I like Blacklist because I see like this struggle between doing what's right, but doing it in the right way. Um, I like the characters. Uh, there's relationships there. You got this guy who's like super intelligent, great thinker. Uh, he's always out thinking everybody else. And then you see his relationship with his daughter, and he kind of changes. He's kind of a bad guy, but then he kind of does good. And so all of that kind of, I just love the show. I don't recommend it, but I love the show. <laughs> so. <laughs> so as a pastor... If it's a show that you wouldn't necessarily recommend to your congregation, do you think it's a show you should continue watching? That's a good question. And I was thinking about that. Um, so when I watch a movie, I'm looking for, like, what am I going to take away from it? Mm -hmm. And what is it, what is it going to cost me to get what I want? So if it's a comedy, um, is it going to make me laugh and make me feel good? And if it's yes, then I may go with it. But if there's, like, a negative aspect to it, like if the jokes are not... Uh, so so good, then I may say no because it costs me too much to get what I want from from the from the movie or from the show. So it's kind of how I do it. It's like blacklist. Like is what I get from it greater than like how it impacts me maybe a little bit in a negative way. So like for instance, with blacklist, it's pretty violent. Mm -hmm. But I'm not a violent person. I don't have any inclination to kill, murder, beat up people. So I can kind of enjoy the enjoy the show without feeling like I'm going to go shoot somebody the next day. So let me ask you this. Is violent content inherently not Christian? Um, I, would s I would say no. I mean, there's violence in the Bible. Okay. Um, it's, a part of, like, it's a part of us as fallen people. There's violence in this world. Um, so you, you're not immune to it. You're going to see it in the news. It's just, for me, I go to, what is the message in the violence? I can watch a movie about war, but is there anything positive in this movie? Sure. So I'm going to see some people die, get shot, murdered, whatever. But is there something in there that's going to impact me positively? And again, if those two don't balance, if I'm too too much on this end and it's too negative, then I'll, I'll walk away from it. Okay. So. Cool. Um, do you have a favorite book right now? My favorite book, I've read it a couple times, is Who Moved My Cheese? So it's not, <laughs> okay. a, not a Christian book. It's just um, it's about change and how we respond to change. 
Some people, you know, see change coming, but they just ignore it. Some people see it coming and they respond ahead of time and they get moving to action. So it just motivates me. It help, it, show, it teaches me how to how to respond to change. And so I always have to do like a refresher course on that because my life is constantly changing. So okay. So the question I'm wondering is. Do you know who moved the cheese in this? Do they ever answer that? It question? doesn't really answer the question. It's just it's, it's just part of life. Like oh. things change. So. Okay. No, we oh. don't know who moved the cheese. <laughs> okay. So. All right. Well, that's all the questions I have for you today. That's all the answers I have. All right. Thank you. <laughs>